I remember the old YouTube days where things were a lot different. I'm talking about back in 2005, 2006. A lot of people forget, or some of you actually never knew, YouTube's front page was always subscriptions, you know, in a big grid of all the people you're subscribed to. You were guaranteed to receive their videos when you subscribe to a channel. Now it actually works differently. It's the channels you interact with more, you'll start seeing more of in your subscription feed and other channels that you've subscribed to, but sometimes you're like, hey, where are their videos? YouTube has this algorithm and they actually decide which videos you see. So it's actually not a guarantee. When you subscribe to a YouTube channel, it does not guarantee you'll see their videos. This stupid algorithm has affected both my channels and it's just really dumb. YouTube used to have a category right on the homepage of most viewed videos. You could sort of most viewed today, this week, this month, or all time. Favorited videos used to be a thing, most discussed, and then highest rated. It used to be a five star rating system, which I think they should bring back because the thumbs up and thumbs down is just a troll system. Hey, I like the video or I don't like the video. There's not really a scale of rating. And back then, a view was a view no matter what. Currently, Views don't even matter on YouTube. Subscribers don't even matter on YouTube. What matters most is watch time and how much watch time your channel receives monthly. When YouTube implemented this system, you saw a huge rise in gaming channels because gaming channels were much easier to be dedicated to, meaning people filmed half hour videos of Let's Plays and started uploading those. Their channels were favorited in the YouTube algorithm to be promoted more than other channels. That's why you saw such a rise with gamers, vlog channels, makeup gurus, all that stuff. Videos are longer and you upload more of, that's what YouTube looks at now, instead of just views. Kind of hard to implement on my channels because my main channel is more so quality over quantity. Um, some of the videos take time, all that stuff, and they're much shorter, so my channel isn't favorited as far as YouTube's algorithm goes. But I'm actually making a push towards that to upload more frequently. So you wanna be successful, film longer videos, upload more often. That's literally what thrives on YouTube right now. There was a time where YouTube didn't have a single corporation or major business on such as Vivo or you know the late night shows and companies such as Doritos or other stuff. It used to be just one of those home video sites and that's what was really cool about it because you saw creators exactly like you coming up with funny content. Now it's overpacked, favoring watch time, favoring this recommended video system that makes no sense. What really chaps my ass, and this is what fucking pisses me off. How the fuck do I log on on YouTube and there's a recommended video to me, to Rob, a recommended video about some girl, you know, not talking bad about the girl, some girl's vlog channel about her being 15 and pregnant. Do I look like a guy who subscribes to little girl's vlog channels? and maybe sobs over her pregnancy story? Do I look like I sit down and watch a Thanks, YouTube. Recommend me more, please. There's other like makeup tutorial recommend it. Makeup tutorial recommendation videos? Do I sit there and decide what, what mascara should I wear? What mascara should I wear today in one of my rants or my sketches? Should I do the red lipstick or am I more of a neutral color? Really? Makeup, vlog channels. I haven't even watched one of those videos. How the hell is it recommended to me? Which is funny too, because one time I clicked on those videos and there's a bunch of other comments saying, why is this recommended to me? I watch Minecraft videos. In a nutshell, man, as much as I've been on this site and I love this site and I've met some of the employees, fuck you guys. You guys are terrible. You guys are looking at numbers rather than the public desire and you're implementing like all these tools, testing out if it works or not. Well, it's not working, to me at least. And now all these other channels, you see with all the rant channels, Philip DeFranco and all that stuff, complaining about not being able to monetize their videos because it's not family-friendly content for advertisers. Since when did I have to worry about family-friendly content on my YouTube channel? As if I'm sitting here reviewing Sesame Street videos, which I love Sesame Street when I was a kid, but it's not family friendly, but if this is the content I want to do, I should be allowed to do it and not face some sort of punishment that I'm not being able to monetize my videos now. It's like, dude, 
How am I gonna buy the camera lens I freaking want? Yeah, give it to all the other company channels that already, mind you, already make a huge business profit. They're just making a secondary profit uploading their late night shows on YouTube now. That seems fair. So I'm sitting here while they're like, you know, it's not family friendly. Fuck you. I'm not gonna change my content for shit. But thanks guys so much for listening to this rant. I'll see you on my next one.